All right, so welcome back. This is the last video on surface area and volume, and I'm gonna talk about the sphere. So first of all, so the sphere, it has actually been shown uh, a little while back by Archimedes, and you can look that up if you like, that if you take a sphere and then you take a cylinder, so notice that the sphere and the cylinder have the same radius and they also have the same height. So if they have the same radius and the same height, so in this case, the height is 2R because that's the diameter of the sphere. When those two are um, equivalent, so the height is equivalent, the radius is equivalent, it turns out that Archimedes has shown that the surface area of the sphere is identical to the lateral part of the cylinder. Now we know what the surface area of a cylinder is. I'll put a link up above there for the surface area of a cylinder. You can look it up if you like. Again, if you forgot, maybe. So here, I'm going to just write that the surface area is equal to, so it is equal to the circumference, which is in this case two pi r, multiplied by the height which is 2R. And again, this is only of the lateral part. It does not include the top and the bottom. And so this, if you multiply this out, this is going to be 4 pi R squared. And that turns out to be the exact surface area of our sphere. And that's what Archimedes has shown. Now, if you get into later on, math where you start doing calculus, you can actually show this particular formula okay, by using some calculus and some logic throughout. But because this is just a grade nine video or something that somebody watching it earlier, um, you know, in the beginning, I guess you kind of trust okay, that the formulas that provided to you are correct. Now, one way which you can get a bit of intuition into this four pi r squared. You can take a tennis ball. You can take, I don't know, your, your orange as circular as it can possibly be. And, or even you can take an apple and just start peeling the apple, just get the peels all the way around, okay? As you know, that's a circle. And the idea behind it is, you know, let's say you had a tennis ball, apple, orange, whatever, and they use the peels. If you would cut the tennis ball and then you would flatten it out so you'd have a you know, surface, okay, out of the, all of the little pieces. So you can just take them and cut them into little pieces and then put them all together. And then you would notice that because you can calculate what the diameter is of, let's say, that tennis ball, you can try to see how close you can come up to this. And that would be a more intuitive way where you actually physically can kind of tell and see what the math lines up with reality and not just trust a formula. All right, so now let's take a look at the volume. Let us, so again, a little bit of intuition, which we have done in previous videos. If you don't wanna utilize too much math and you just wanna try to get a gauge of it, what I would recommend you to do is, again, you can take a tennis ball or, or any ball that you like. You know, you can measure more or less that tennis ball's diameter, right? And then you can divide it by two and get the radius. You can take a ping pong ball, okay, something smaller. So I would encourage you to take a tennis ball, ping pong ball, maybe an orange, okay? So something which is spherical. And you can take all of these different items. So whatever, you know, sphere that they have. So, you know, here's one, okay? So something smaller, maybe something even bigger. So you have all of these spheres that we have. And then what I would encourage you to do is to take a container. So let's say we have some container. I'm going to draw this container here. And you know, if you have this container and you say, so let's say you fill it up with water all the way to the brim here. Now, what you know you can do here is, okay, so if you have, okay, so you can put it in Okay, kind of a, another ball here because when you put these, okay, if you put these inside, it's obviously is going to spill out. Now, we can figure out how much volume we have in here. 
Now, if you put the sphere inside of that okay, container, the water is going to spill out. So it's going to start to spill out. So it's going to go along the edges, start to spill out, and obviously it will fill up this container. Now, once you remove it, you can measure how much it has filled out. And if you do that, then you are more or less close are coming to what the volume of that sphere is. Because again, it's just three dimensional. So that's something you definitely can do in grade nine or earlier, right? If you don't have too much mathematics like calculus behind you, you know, so that you can calculate, okay, from math point of view, the actual volume. So I would encourage you to do that. So if you do that for all of these, right, and you can try as many as you can, okay, try all of these experiments, you will find that the actual volume, okay, of any sphere is, so it's 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now the cubed should make sense because it's volume. The four over three, okay, that is kind of the trick. Where does this come from? So initially, you know, you can do it by experiments, by just throwing this, thumping it in there. And later on, when you get more math, you can actually show it, okay, with some math where that comes from. So that is it. So now you have, at the time being, it's probably going to be just formulas that you might memorize. And then indeed, you watch it week later you might forget it so you actually have to use these formulas uh, as much as possible and I know that they test you on these things in typically in grade 9 or maybe even earlier uh, but it's cool to know uh, that these things you can actually experiment and kind of tell where they're coming from all right so this is it so that is what we have okay for our chapter and I'm gonna see you in future videos and I'll try to make a test on all of these surface areas and volumes, and you can test yourself how well you can apply them. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in a future video. Cheers, Niner.